हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ अनूप सिंह यू आर वॉचिंग एरोटेक एडवांस यूट्यूब चैनल इन टू डे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू बेजिक एयरक्राफ्ट बेजिक एयरक्राफ्ट इज इट सेल्फ इज अ बिग चैप्टर बट हीयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओवर व्यू ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड यू कैन फाइंड आउट मोर रिलीवेंट पॉइंट्स इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो in this topic basic aircraft we are going to discuss nine main points so the first point that is the types of airplanes and their uses second major parts of airplane third one is primary control surfaces fourth one is four forces acted on an airplane fifth one is airplane can fly because of sixth one is how lift is created seventh one is एयर फॉइल सेक्शन एट वन इज एंगल ऑफ टैक एंड नाइन्थ वन इज एयरप्लेन स्टेबिलिटी एंड कंट्रोल सो गाइज दिस इज अ ओवर व्यू द नाइन मेन पॉइंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी बट नॉट इन डिटेल बट वनली द ओवर व्यू ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ बेजिक एयरक्राफ्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट पॉइंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन सो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन्स आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट इफ यू सी हियर आई गिवन सम पिक्चर दैट मैंशन दैट कॉमर्शियल टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन मिलिट्री टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन जनरल प्राइवेट टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन एक्सपेंटल पर्पज टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन सो दे इज अ सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट इन टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन वी नोज द कॉमर्शियल टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन डेट शेड्यूल एंड चार्टेड एयरलाइन फ्लाइट्स एंड कैरिंग बहुत पैसेंजर एंड कार्गो the larger passenger carrying types are often referred to as a airliner some of the smaller types are also called in general aviation so guys this is about the uh, commercial airplane let's see about the next types of the airplane for military category of aircraft generally using for fighter or and bomber uh, purpose for shooting and combat and searching and rescue operation also specially for spying operation transportation operation and also carrying some fuel uh, fuel one place to another place so this this for this purpose in the case of uh, uh, military we are using the military aircraft here i given the example of military aircraft like refueling of aircraft in the mid air as uh, for spying operation using the smallest world smallest aircraft that is a black widow carrying a bomb from one place to another that is a stealth bomber b2 so this is a all types of a military airplane so in case of general and private category of aircraft let's see the function of general category the general category of aircraft is generally using for business jets trainer trainers aircraft aerobatic purpose racer gliders fire fighting medical transport and cargo transport so this is the function of a general category of aircraft what we are finding and in the case of private category of aircraft generally using for light passenger carrying light passenger business purpose or different purpose of uh, private functions and used used for a wide range of commercial task such as uh, fighting training and uh, uh, spraying the in uh, pesticide on the uh, in the ag in the, in the case of agriculture and um, medical evacuations so there is a uh, so many uh, functions you can find out in the category of a private aircraft if you see in this diagram so you can got the idea of uh, private aircraft functions like uh, crop spraying and uh, tilt rotor planes and uh, medical purpose uh, private jet so the purpose you can easily find out with the help of this uh, example of a private aircraft if you see about experimental aircraft it is generally used or built for to explore some aspect of aircraft design for example bell x1 rocket plane which first broke the sound barrier and travel more than speed of uh, sound that is uh, more than speed of uh, uh, supersonic in level flight so that is a, a best example and famous example of uh, experimental category of aircraft so that's the reason we are taking the help of experimental aircraft in order to do the experiment and set a uh, some example that is helpful for 
designing the new category of aircraft we are completed the types of airplane and their uses now the second point that is major parts of the airplane if you see in this diagram of simple airplane so you can easily understand the major there are major parts of airplane is like engine wing fuselage and empennage that is called tail section so this is a main part of the aircraft or airplane so in the case of the main parts of the airplane we are going to discuss one by one so the first we are going to see about the fuselage so fuselage is the basic structure of the airplane to which wing empennage and landing gears are attached it is generally designed to hold the passenger crew and cargo the second if you see the part main part that is empennage that is called a tail section so it having or it possesses vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer that is very useful uh, uh, control surfaces for providing the stability that we are going to discuss in next video or some discussion in this video and it's provide the greatest stability part what we are required during the aircraft performance in case of main parts the engine is also very important part the engine is provide the thrust necessary for powered flight the types of the engines depends on the mission requirements of the airplane if you see about the next other uh, next important part of the airplane that is wing the wing is an airfoil attached to the fuselage and it is designed to produce lift most in the case of aerodynamically forces you can find out most of the lift is produced by the aircraft wing and it contain also fuel cells engine nozzles and landing gear and airplane controls like ailerons flaps slats and spoilers also attach on it so it's a very important part of the airplane in case of the wing we can find out a different configuration of the wings are available in order for different purpose if you see the high wing Uh, mid wing and low wing the high wing in case of high wing wing is mounted on the top of the fuselage that is for very stable the, in that case that is a configuration is very stable uh, configuration if you see for mid wing wing is mounted at the middle section of the uh, uh, fuselage of the aircraft that is specially for that is good for acrobatic and if you see the low wing configuration that is mounted at the bottom of the fuselage that it produce less drag so guys all three configuration is of the wing is useful for different different purposes so different different aircraft using different wing configurations depending depending what's the requirement during the operation in main parts of the aircraft the landing gear is also a very important part is very crucial part if you see the landing gear can be fixed in place or retractable many small airplanes have fixed landing gear in which drag uh, it increase the drag uh, but keep the airplanes lightweight and also it's larger faster and more complex aircraft have retractable landing gear that can reduce the weight because if it is not retractable so during the flight operation it produce more drag if it is more drag means it produce more weight so this is a concept of air uh, aircraft performance we are going to discuss later but here you can understand only if the drag is more so weight is more so that consume more fuel in order to lift the aircraft body so this is a concept and most of the planes today use which is called tricycle landing gear that is a very famous uh, landing gear arrangement and system has the two main gears units located near the middle of the wing and a single smaller nose gears unit near the nose of the aircraft these types of configurations you can find out in the landing gear system in other part of the aircraft if, if you, you can find out easily that is cockpit cabin and cargo so let's see the small overview of this part also the cockpit if you see the front part cockpit is a front part of the fuselage and contain all the instruments instruments needed to fly the airplane the cockpits has have a hardened door and securing them for the unauthorized person during the flight take off and landing operation 
cabin is a section of the fuselage in which the passenger cargo or both uh, are seated or occupied the space and typical passenger cabin has the galley for food preparations laboratories and one or more sitting compartment and other amenities you can find out in the in the case of cabin and cargo you can find out that is a below section of the fuselage in which we are storing our luggage and other transport materials now we are going to see the primary control surface of the aircraft only overview not we are going to discuss a uh, very deep so if you see in the figure so you can easily understand there are three con main control surfaces uh, that is called primary control surfaces that provide stability control during the operation now we are going to see the primary control surface of the aircraft only overview not we are going to discuss a uh, very deep so so if you see in the figure so you can easily understand there are three con main control surfaces uh, that is called primary control surfaces that provide stability control during the operation so if you see the ailerons is the part that is mounted on the main aircraft and if you see there will be a flap is mounted at the a trailing edge of the aileron and then you can see the elevator is mounted on the tail section that is called elevator and radar you can also find out that is mounted on the tail section so this three component is the primary control surface is is very important for providing the stability and control during the flight operation flaps and slats that is very also very important components or control surface in order to increase the amount of the lift so let's see one by one the flaps is a movable control surface on the aircraft wing is used to change the amount of the lift generated flap deflected downward during the takeoff and land ending to increase the lift flaps retracted immediately after landing to decrease the lift so this is a fundamental purpose of the flap and in the case of the slats slat is also a movable control surface on the aircraft wing also to change the amount of the lift generated slat is generally enable the airplane to get off the ground quickly and to land slowly so this is a purpose of slats so flaps and slats is very uh, important control surface in the primary with the help of primary control surfaces and also you can find out in the figure where it is mounted and where it is located on the aircraft structure in additional uh, control surfaces the one more control surface that is called spoiler the spoiler you can find out that is located at the end section or you can say the trailing section of the aircraft wing if you see in the figure and it is located on the upper surface of the wing or at the rear part of the wing which opened in order to decrease the lift uh, and increase the drag they reduce the lift by disturbing the flow that is over, flowing over the top of the wing and they are used generally uh, for in during the landing in order to get the immediately landing or reducing the ground roll during the landing performance fourth point in this topic that is force acting on the airplane so there are four forces acting on the aircraft or airplane during the flight operation that is you can find out lift force drag force thrust force and weight because of gravity so let's see this forces we already discussed this uh, all the four forces in the case of how the airplane is flying in the sky that is also we are going to discuss in this video but a small part because this is a part in the case of basic aircraft in four force acting on the air plane that is first the thrust the thrust is the force that moves the aircraft through the air and it's generated by the engine that is called the thrust what you guys are seen in the diagram the next one is lift lift is the force generated by the air flow around the uh, airplane especially to the wing and amount of the lifts generated depends upon the air speed angle of attack air foil shape and wing area so this is a important parameter for lifting properties of the wing
लिफ्ट इक्वेशन दैट इज लिफ्ट इज इक्वल टू सी एल इंटू हाफ रो वी स्क्वेर इंटू एस इन दिस इक्वेशन इफ यू सी द रो इज द डेंसिटी वी इज द वेलोसिटी एस इज द विंग एरिया सी एल इज द को इफिशियंट ऑफ वे लिफ्ट vary with angle of tack so in case of designing of aircraft wing it is better to get higher coefficient of lift and coefficient of lift is vary with angle of tack so that's a, that's a reason and that's a why by changing the angle of tack the amount of lift uh, can be adjusted so this is with the help of this equations lift equations you can determine the overall lift produced by the aircraft and with the help of this equation you can understand and the coefficient of lift in the in the equation of lift that is determined the, with the help of different different parameters of the aircraft wing for example angle of tack wing area velocity of the flow so this is very important parameter for lifting properties of the wing third force in the uh, force acting of an airplane is a drag drag is the force of resistance an aircraft or airplane feel as it's move through the air wing is designed to be the smooth in order to reduce the drag and drag is important during the landing in order to slow down the aircraft during the landing operation if you see for last one that is weight weight is the earth gravity pull down on object and give them weight it's include the aircraft itself the payload and the weight of the fuel that pulling in the downward so that is called weight guys we are discuss the four forces acting on the airplane the reason is that in order to understand how the airplane is fly so let's see that we already discuss in one of my special video i already uploaded you can find out there what is the fundamental but let's see in this video also for smaller amount that the force forces we are already seen acting on the airplane during the flight the thrust is generated by the engine and lift produced by the aircraft when the air flow passes through over it and drag is the air resistance and weight is the gravitational pull so let's see the fundamental how the airplane is flying in the sky We already discussed the four types of force acting on the airplane uh, let's see the fundamental of this airplane is flying in the uh, in the sky during the take off uh, the aircraft is moving on the ground at very high speed due to the thrust produced by the engine or generated by the engine as the engine are attached to the wing of an airplane it thrust will be applied to the airplane the air flow at that time air flow passes over the wing and it generate the lift how the generated the lift behind because of some principle that is called bernoulli's principle and with the help of the thrust produced by the engine during the flight operation the airplane is speed up or moving forward air is moving across the wing due to the shape of the airfoil which is on the top surface curve uh, more curve than as compared to the below surface make the air flow is faster on the upper surface and slower on the lower surface if you see in the figure the air flow is faster on the upper surface and low and uh, slower on the lower surface but you can find out in the case of pressure the pressure is low on the upper surface and higher pressure on the bottom surface of the airfoil according to the bernoulli set principle or bernoulli's theorem increase in the velocity leads to decrease in the pressure so that air pressure below the wing is higher meanwhile the air pressure above the wing is lower this difference is of the pressure creates the at a wing pushes push upward and both the wings are attached to the fuselage so whole air cup body goes up and if enough lift is uh, created or lift is greater than the aircraft weight the plane naturally lift into the sky so that's the reason the aircraft is fly in the sky all the fundamental what we are seen in the case of lift generation the airfoil section is very important sections with the help of that we are able to producing the lift with the help of bernoulli's principle the airfoil section is the cross section of the wing that produce the lift or aerodynamics effect as it passes through the air 
leading edge if you see what the figure i given leading edge is the front edge of the wing trailing edge is the back edge of the wing camber is a centralized a central line between the top and bottom of the wing and cord line line is connecting leading edge and trailing edge of an airfoil so this is a nomenclature of the airfoil section that that every candidate should know about this because airfoil section of the wing is very important that's the reason it's create of differences in the fluid properties with the help of bernoulli's theorem or principle and it's able to create the lift angle of attack we are seeing because it's changing the property of coefficient of lift what we are seeing in the equation of the lift so angle of attack is the angle between the cord line and the relative wing if you see in the diagram it is the angle between the cord line of an airplane and the relative wind direction so that is called angle of attack angle of attack is very important if the angle of attack increases lift also increases if angle of attack decreases coefficient of lift is decreases so that is important to know about the angle of attack of attack is related to the amount of lift if see here i already told you the angle of attack increases the lift is increases it's changed during the flight as the pilot changes the direction of airplane too high angle of attack can cause the airplane stall and stall means airplane loss of the lift force then the aircraft may goes down so that is called stall Generally, the stall is causing the problem during the uh, flight operation. The loss of the lift caused by the breakdown of airflow over the wing. The angle of attack passes at a critical points. That's the reason. If you see in the figure, you can understand. If it is reach at the critical point where the stall is happening, at that point, lift is start decreasing. If you see in the graph of lift versus angle of attack, the lift is increasing and suddenly it's going to decrease. is because of stall so that's the reason we are learning about the stall condition plane stability and control this is a very big topic and big chapter is there but we are going to discuss only overview of this topic so let's start airplane can be controlled by their three axes the roll axis pitch axis and uh, yaw axis as the airplane move through the three axis their three axis systems also move this movement can be described by the movement with the c of the center of gravity so let's see about the main topic related to this three axis of the aircraft stability and control three main control surfaces the the main control surfaces for an airplane are the ailerons elevator and rudder what we had discussed earlier in this video but see little bit more about this control surfaces the pilot control the movement of an airplane using the control stick or yoke and rudder pad, uh, paddles inside the cockpit so this is for purpose of controlling the controls that is aileron control surface aileron are used to uh, roll and rotate the aircraft when the pilot moves the control stick to the right the right ailerons move up and left ailerons move down this squeezes more lift on the left wing and less wing, less lift on the right wing so it creates it creates a different in differences in the forces that squeezes the aircraft to roll to the right in ailerons when the pilot move the control stick to the left the left ailerons move up and right ailerons moves down this squeezes more lift on the right wing and less lift on the left wing the differences in the squeezes the aircraft to roll to the left for elevator elevator are used to pitch the aircraft up or down squeezing its climb or dive to climb the pilot pull the control stick back squeezes the elevator to deflect up this squeezes the air flow to force the tail down and nose up to dive the pilot pushes the control stick forward squeezes the elevator to deflect down this squeezes air flow to lift the tail and nose down so this is a purpose of the elevator is very simple of ray operation the what's the pilot is doing during the during the pitching moment or pitching control of the aircraft see for rudder rudder turn the aircraft right or left 
so on the vertical trail the rudder moves from the side to side pushes the tail in the left or right direction to turn the right the pilot steps on the right rudder pedal this squeezes the rudder tilt to the right when the rudder tilt to the right more lift is created on the right wing on the right side of wing it pushes the vertical stabilizer to the left so this squeezes the aircraft no no stern down in this way so this is a function of the rudder guys thank you for watching my video i hope so you guys are understand all the points what we have discussed in the topic of basic aircraft this is a one big chapter but here in this video i try my best to explain not much but the overview of each topic in this video all nine points we are discussed in in this uh, uh, topic basic aircraft so i hope so you guys are understand very soon i am going to prepared in in little bit depth of each and every topic but this is a overview of uh, year year students those are studying in first and second year of aeronautical and aerospace engineering so that students get the idea was the topics you can find out especially in the topic in the subject of uh, basic aircraft that is also called basic aircraft science so guys thank you so much for watching this video and give your comments and like in this video so i can understand what's your question what's your query and what's your appreciations about this video so guys thank you